Hi guys, this is Tina from Shabby Dabby Doo Doll. Welcome back to my channel. So I'm here again with my art journal. Again, it's been a little while since we have played around in, um, you know, doing an art journal page. So, yep, I've got my buff coloured one and we've obviously, you know, we've worked in this a lot over the time. So you've probably, you know, probably seen it before. And I've also got some of these wooden frames. Now, I have used these before. Um, yeah, I had to buy another packet because I think I've used one and now, of course, I've misplaced the other one. Um, so, I bought myself another packet. No doubt I will mislay the other one as well. Um, so I'm just going to select one of these to use in the layout. There's four frames in here. I've got these from The Range, the shop here in the UK called The Range. They were only a pound for four, so they were pretty good value. Oops, can't get them back in there. I've also bought myself some new acrylic paints because I've talked before about the fact that I've constantly got the same colour paints and you're probably all really bored. Um, it's not the set that I've talked about before. I said, oh, I'm going to treat myself to a set that I thought they had in the range for kind of, I don't know, about £8, which I thought was going to be really good value. I couldn't find it in there when I went in there, typically. Um, you know, I've seen it in there tons of times. And of course, you know, sod's law that when you go in there, of course, you can't then find it. So, yeah, I couldn't find it this time. Um, bought myself some new brushes because whenever I do art journal layouts, I get lots of people saying to me, oh, for goodness sake, buy some new brushes. So, yeah, I've got myself some new brushes. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> couldn't resist this. I mean, what is wrong with me? You know, I'm constantly striving to try and do a pale layout, a neutral colour. But, yeah, I couldn't resist. I saw this and was like, oh, my goodness, what a yummy colour. So, yeah, that may make its way onto the page as well. And then I have got some white. Um, I think that's white. And also, I just bought this. So, this one I think I had already, but I'm now just checking maybe it's not white. Oh, no, it's orange. Oh, I saw that and I thought, oh, it's it's white, but no, it's orange. So lucky I bought some white, isn't it? Right, let me get this out of the way. So my daughter's had that orange over here, so that's why that's there. So going to move this all out of the way. Now, I don't have a plan at all. We're just going to kind of like wing this. So yeah, let's see how we get on. But the main thing that I have bought along is I bought along this treasury of nursery rhymes. And I know kind of, you know, I've talked about this before. I did the haul video and, you know, I love to have kind of a central focal point. So I thought this was just the most gorgeous book. Um, it was a vintage book that I was lucky enough to pick up. And yeah, going to select a picture to build my layout around. Now, let's just have a look and see. What I would ideally like to do is find a picture that, you know, a hasn't got something that I love on the other side, but B is quite big. So, you know, hopefully it's going to be a picture that, you know, perhaps I would struggle to use elsewhere. I mean, this might be quite nice because oddly, it's quite washed out on this page. Um, you know, I guess it's the nature of, you know, sometimes books are printed, you know, and then they're not necessarily as rich colours on one page or the other. So this is a possible... Um, these are brilliant sizes to use in junk journals, so probably not those. Um, I mean, they're quite nice, to be honest. And I don't really like that image on that side. I'm trying to see what that is. Oh, it is a bird. Oh, that is cute. Oh, that is very cute. I might have to, might have to use this one. Because it's, yeah, so sweet. And I love this script here so yeah I think I'm going to have to go for that and plus to be honest if I do end up using the green which you know tells me I might um then this is going to be gorgeous isn't it so yeah love the text didn't know what that was even I couldn't really make it out but it's a little bird and it's obviously poorly so cute yeah love that right okay and I would definitely kind of you know struggle to perhaps use that in a journal so it's going to be ideal right now obviously you know I flick around in my journals and try and kind of like you know do random pages so that they're not all kind of next to each other so I'm just going to flick around and I'm going to yep fall upon this whoops this kind of back whoops back section oh my goodness I can't actually straighten the book out it's getting pretty full now so I might end up having to kind of like just call it quits and tear some of the pages out um 
you know, rather than continually fill it. I'm not really too sure, but yeah, we'll kind of just play around and we'll see. So, what do I want to put down as my first colour? Now, yes, I just <laughs> can't help myself. Honestly, I don't know. Yeah, I'm kind of thinking, shall I put colour on first? Now, generally, I normally tend to put kind of some paper down first. But actually, for this, I'm thinking, let's play around and put some colour down first. And then work the pages in afterwards, you know, the layers, and then maybe some more paint. So, you know, I'm hoping that the paint will kind of like show. Um, oh, I don't know, actually, maybe that's the wrong way to do it. I'm just kind of trying to think, you know, because obviously there's a reason why people put the papers down first, isn't it? And if I put the paint down first, all that's going to happen... Oh, I've got loose brushes here. What a rubbish set of brushes they were. I mean, they were only cheap, but, well, they really rubbish. Hopefully it's fine now that I've picked those loose, tape, loose um, bristles out. Right, so I'm going to put the paper down first. So, yeah, kind of as per, I guess, normal, you know, normal kind of, like, stages, I'm going to just go with the paper first. So going to use scraps that are laying around and in this particular instance I just happen to have this sheet music so let me just unclog my glue okay. right I always feel really nervous when I'm doing a um, you know art journal layout because it feels very kind of out of my comfort zone you know it's not kind of something that I do very often and it just feels a little bit, um, yeah, just a little bit out of my my normal comfort zone. Sorry, I'm looking around hunting for a wipe, so hold on a second. Yeah, I just found one. There was one on the floor, luckily, that had dropped off of the desk. Um, can't find my glue spreader, so I'm just going to use my scissor handle. Like that, okay. Actually, I just thought, I normally, I think, fold my book round, don't I? So that's why I'm struggling to fit it in. It's because it's getting very full, it's not actually wanting to kind of operate and, yeah, bend round. So hold on a second. Oh dear. Or perhaps it's just stuck with the paint. Hold on two moments while I'm just trying to get this. Right, there we go. There we go, right. Let me just grab that sheet music that's now dropped. Right, there we go. Um, yeah, so I'm going to put these down. Now, you know, most of these will probably be covered up anyway, so probably doesn't really matter too hugely, you know, where I put them. They're just getting layers down. And I watched a video recently by Kerry the Crafter, and he was talking about, you know, the importance of layers. And kind of saying, you know, a lot of it may even get covered up. But it's all about getting the layers on, you know, and building up the textures and things like that. So, I definitely think, you know, it doesn't seem to matter how your layers are put on. Now, I've just found some doily. This was just laying around. Um, you know, because like I say, they probably will get covered up anyway. But it's just a case of get them down in the first instance. So we just put these down like that, okay? And I love the way that we can just be really um, eclectic and just use any old thing that's laying about, you know. It's a great way to kind of clear off your desk a little bit. I mean, well, not that this has made any kind of dent in my desk. I mean, my desk is absolutely appalling today. Um, yeah, so not really made a dent to be honest but anyway right I'm thinking maybe have this one yeah okay so you know again just building up those layers popping down more things in a sort of randomy eclectic way like that okay oops Obviously, you know, I'm using the Anita's Tacky Glue. It's kind of oozing out a bit. 
again, you know, not really going to stress too much about that. Okay, right. Now, I've also got some of these gorgeous tickets. Now, these are from my taperology things. I can't remember whether these are stickers or not. I mean, they're on this glossy background, which I feel like is possibly sticker, but... Aha, there we go. It was sticker. So, yeah, I'm going to just peel these off and oh, stick a couple of these down. So these are kind of washi tape texture. So just going to pop a couple of these on. I mean, actually, that's hung off the page now, so I'm just going to tear it down there. Okay. Ordinarily, I would probably glue these as well because I just never have much faith in you know, um, stickers being stuck down or staying stuck down. But, you know, this is my art journal. It's not like I'm selling it or anything like that. So I'm not going to worry too much. But yeah, I mean, obviously, if this were a project that I was planning on selling, I would probably use glue as well because, you know, I'd hate to sell it and then have the pieces lifting and not staying stuck down. So, oops. Okay. So, yeah, just kind of just put in them any old, any old place, really. Uh, like that. Okay. Looking good so far. Oops, got a bit more sheet music. So just, just pulling things in, having a bit of a kind of scrap, um, you know, scrap lift or, I don't know. That was a thing, wasn't it? A scrap lift kind of back in the day. Um, I think that's when you kind of like copy somebody else's layout. That's a scrap lift. I'm not doing a scrap lift. <laughs> Meaning scrap lift as in taking pieces from my desk and just putting them on here. So lifting the scraps from my desk and incorporating them in my layout. So yeah, not kind of a scrap lift as it was a few years ago. Well, maybe it's still a thing. I don't know because, you know, obviously I'm not really a kind of scrapbooker anymore, but yeah all right there we go so just making up terms making up terms making up ways of doing my layout so yeah but it's all good right so we've got that down there now wondering here do we want to go in with some paint and then kind of gesso over um and you know gesso I kind of think well <sighs> I've started in the past before by putting gesso on as the very base layer. The problem is with doing that is that what happens is as you put your next layers on, they've not got the gesso. So when you kind of then try and smudge things or do the, you know, um, blending and stuff, then your new pieces aren't going to be covered with gesso and therefore blending. So I kind of almost feel like the gesso is better to do at this stage. Today, I'm thinking that. I mean, I'm not saying that that's necessarily, you know, a thing. But today, I kind of feel like, actually, I think probably, you know, that's going to work better. Right. Now, these frames, um, let me find the one that I would like to use. Maybe this one. Oh, actually. I'm trying to remember which frame I used previously. I don't want to use the same one. I'm even wondering whether we could use it sideways on and even maybe just cut it in half and just use half of it i haven't tried cutting this little kind of chipboard wood type stuff down but i don't see why that wouldn't work shall i try that oh this is where i find it doesn't work there we go because it's only very um soft it's like that bolster wood kind of stuff so you know it's not kind of too tough to actually take it down now this one I'm just going to tear this round okay now I'm going to try and keep that title intact as much as I can because I love that scripty writing so if I can I'd like to put this title somewhere on the layout well that's if I don't forget and of course that is quite likely that I will so yeah right okay I'm actually thinking we could have this off to the side. Now I've cut it in half. So 
yeah, I wonder if we should have this down here. Oh, or how cute would that be to have that right down there? Oh my goodness, that is so cute, isn't it? Yeah, right, so let me just tear this down a bit and probably need to just tear it down here slightly. Okay, right, so I'm just going to tear this section off slightly more and I'm just going to tear it down slightly more here. Yeah, oh my goodness, how cute does that look? that's so sweet right so yeah I mean I don't know why but obviously again often I do the focal point not necessarily in the middle but certainly you know higher up on the page but maybe this is going to be you know an interesting alternative is to have it right down here I'm just wondering I want it over more right in the corner or more like over there let's just check luckily that anita's tacky glue is you know nice and slidey so we can just move this around a bit obviously if you'd stuck it down with certain you know other glues you might not have that flexibility to be able to sort of slide it around but yeah this is nice and nice and slidey right okay oh my goodness how cute does that look so yeah, absolutely loving how that looks so far. Now, do I want to put some green on first or do I want to put some gesso on first? I mean, do I even want the green? <sighs> I mean, I feel like I should. I should use the green because I do love it, to be honest. Right, okay. So I've got my big, thick brush here. Um, now, I've also got these pale colours, so let's just see if I want to inc incorporate any of these. I mean, they're called pastel colours, to be honest. That blue and that pink, they're still quite bright, aren't they? So, you know, I'd have to be a bit careful because otherwise, even with the pastel colours, I could go, you know, could end up with quite a bright look, couldn't I? I mean, this is obviously going to be a bright look if I'm using this green, but now... Let's move these. I don't really think lilac's got any place on here. Now, which colours do we like to go together? Do we think those kind of colours? And then, obviously, I've got my white here as well. So, yeah. Should we do that? Yeah. Yeah, let's go for it. Right. So, I think what I'm going to do, I'm just going to take... Oh, these, these have got that stuff on. Oh, my goodness. Let me just put my glasses down so I can see what I'm doing right okay One. I was going to squirt this straight directly to the page but to be honest that's probably a bit too reckless now you can see I have not glued the frame down yet and that's kind of intentional because depending on how this page turns out looking in a minute will depend what colour I want to make the frame so you know I've kind of intentionally held back on my color that I'm putting on the frame so just putting these down like that okay oh my goodness this green is so yummy huh oh my goodness look at it it's looking super bright super super bright isn't it yeah so definitely should not really apply this to the page. Oh, I don't even know if that's got a squirty end. Oh my gosh, this is definitely not one to apply to the page. So I don't know whether you can see that, to be honest, it's probably off camera now, but yeah, it's very, very, very green. So, right, I'm going to take a wet, wet wipe because I actually really like applying the paint with the wet, wet wipes. Now I'm going to move this off. Right, let's put a bit of this First of all, oh my gosh, that's super pale. It may just be because of the wipe, but yeah, much more pale than I'd expected. Now, I don't have to worry too much about this edge because actually this is bare page, if you see what I mean. There's no decorated pages under there, but that being said, I'll just pop that down. So maybe this will be better without the wipe. Actually, just before I discard the wipe, let's do this green with the wipe. So hopefully getting a bit of a bit of a tone down <laughs> who am I 
kidding? Look at how bright this is. Oh, that's really toned down, isn't it? No, obviously not. Obviously not. Okay, right. So we've got some touches of green on there. Let's get the brush and just do some of this other green. Okay, oh gosh, these pastel colours, they're so light, they're barely showing. Oh dear. Right. Okay, right. Well, it's going on better with the, um, you know, with the brush, so. Okie dokie, so, yep. I quite like it when you just kind of, you know, brush over the other colours and then they kind of merge in. So, yeah, I think that's rather nice to do. Just going to... And, you know, I'm not an artist. Please don't, you know, crucify me. These are not obviously painting techniques, but, you know, I think actually just do whatever you want to be doing. As long as you're kind of pleased with the overall thing in the end, then that's good enough, isn't it? So, yeah, right, okay. Well, I'm quite liking how this is looking so far. We've got a good range of colour, which is, you know, what it's all about after all. Okay, I'll just pop that down there. Right, okay. So let me just wipe the paint off from the desk. Okay. Right, now I must clean my brush after the video because I'm very naughty for not cleaning them um right so we've got that now the frame itself do we want to do in white i'm kind of thinking yeah should we do like a stark white for the frame so i'm going to just quickly paint the frame before i put it onto the page so i'm just going to put it on this book page just going to then get my white paint. Oops, and just go, yeah, all over the all over the frame in the white. Okay, and again, you know, I might kind of change my mind with this, but as a starting point, I think the white's going to be good. So let's pop that down like that. Okay. Might even just use my fingers. I mean Oh gosh, I always do get very, very messy in these art journal layouts. So yeah, please, please excuse how messy I'm going to be within literally a couple of minutes, I would imagine. Oh, that's not coming out very bright either. Oh dear, these are not good paints, are they? They are very cheap and cheerful. I mean, to be honest, I think, um, you know, everything's just got really cheap and nasty since COVID you know, unfortunately not necessarily cheap either, but well, these are quite cheap. I mean, this, this was only a pound, this, um, white, but why is that not coming out? It's a bit weird, isn't it? Must have kind of like something there stopping it. Anyway, well, let's just put this down here. Okay. Don't know what's going on with that. So yeah, just want to kind of get some get some white going onto this frame. So now because this is really very rubbish quality, I'm going to just, you know, dab it on rather than wipe it, I think, so that it's hopefully going to go a bit thicker on there. So, and to be honest, you know, that's quite good because we'll get some texture on there as well. So, you know, not, not intentional. This was not kind of like how I'd planned to do this, but Hey, you know, it stops it being really, really boring, I suppose. You know, it's got some texture now going on. So I'm just going to quickly wipe my hands and then probably dry this with my heat tool. So let's just move this out slightly. Okay, right. Just going to put it down there. I don't think it really matters if it kind of dabs on anything because, you know, I'm far from finished, kind of what I'm doing in the background anyway. So, here we go. Okay. Oh, 
the only thing is where this paint's now very thick where I've dabbed it on with my finger it's now obviously taking forever to dry so I'm sorry about this okay JP, right. There we go. Okay, so it's nearly dried. There we go. So I'm just going to put this like over here to see how that's going to be looking in a minute when we've glued that on so it's okay I mean to me that's not really showing up particularly brilliantly but hopefully we can kind of do some bits around it after we've glued it down and get it to show up a little bit better so oddly I'm now kind of got a temptation to put some blue on around here now I don't know whether I'm better off doing that before that frame goes down or after Mm, what do we think? Mm. Oh, let's do it afterwards, shall we? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> no, we probably should do it before. Right. Okay, now this is where I'm probably going to make a complete, um, you know, hash of this. But let's give it a try. So, I hope this is going to be a bit better than the other ones, which were not very visible. Right, okay. Oh, come on. Put the lid back on. Right, give it a shake. So, yeah. So, I hope everyone's having a good day. Maybe you are doing some crafting. I hope you're having a nice time. Let me know below. Do you have an art journal? Do you do some art journaling from time to time? You know, how do you find the process? Do you enjoy it? Do you struggle? You know, is it not really your thing? Are you kind of pushing yourself outside of your boundaries and your your comfort zone by doing it you know like I do but you know uh, is that a good thing do you think you know or not necessarily a good thing for everybody but you know do you think that's a good thing for you you know or maybe you think it's a good thing but actually not a good thing for you because you kind of you know find it um yeah not enjoyable because you're pushing yourself outside of your comfort zone. Okay. Now, I'm thinking kind of maybe just keep just that blue in that corner and not have any other blue anywhere on the page. Um, it was tempting, because I've got some more blue left here on the page where I've squirted it out, it was tempting to put some more blue over here. But actually, do you know what? I think we're going to just leave that blue exactly, you know, just that touch of blue there. Right, now I'm going to quickly dry this off again just because I'm going to glue this frame down in a minute and obviously it's not going to really want to glue down if this is soaking wet. So, a quick dry off. Okie dokie. Oh, that image is so cute, isn't it? I just absolutely love it. Okay, right. So, yeah, let's pop that down there. Now... Now, I'm going to hot glue this down. Again, you know, that's personal preference, how you glue things like this down. It would glue absolutely fine using, um, you know, wet glue. I'm using hot glue just because I'm doing a video. I want it to be nice and quick. I don't want you guys kind of having to sit there watching for ages whilst I'm waiting for it to dry. But wet glue would work fine for this too. So, you know, I'm just trying to kind of cut corners. Oh my goodness, now look what I've done. I've dabbed blue all over that frame. Oh dear. So again, this is a how not to, how not to craft. Right, okay. So I'm gonna have to go over that frame with a bit more white, just to cover up my, my blue dabs, if nothing else. Right, there we go. So, right going to pour out a little bit more of the white and just go 
over that frame a bit more. So, yeah. Oh, that white. I don't know what's going on with that. It must have something blocking it, but yeah, I'm obviously just um, missing missing the point some, somewhat. But Right, so let's just go over there. No, oh, I don't know what that is. Like a big lump. I think that must be from the hot glue, but again, it doesn't really matter. Oops. Okay, right. Okie dokie. Might have to do a third coat even of the white paint. I mean, it's definitely not really kind of visible, is it? Hmm. Okay, I'm going to dry the whole layout off and then I'm just going to apply a little bit of clear gesso over the whole thing so that I've got a bit more of a blendy surface. So I'm just going to check this is dry thoroughly. Okay, so it's looking pretty good. Um, let me clean my brush off. And then we're going to gesso this all over. So, yeah, probably should wash my brush. But again, I'm trying to do this without stopping the video. So kind of continuous filming. It just makes it so much easier when you are, come to upload it. So dab that off. Okay, so it has got a little bit of green still left in there, but... Not too bad so and hopefully I'll just brush it this way and it will be fine so I'm using clear gesso here and I've got a big nice big tub here of clear clear gesso I have to say hating the look of this page so far so I'm hoping it's going to improve because uh, yeah it's looking pretty horrible so far <laughs> okay I mean you know, touch wood, I feel like I do go through this every time I create a journal page, um, you know, and I feel like I have to go through, you know, the rough to get to the smooth, if you see what I mean. So I think this is normal for my process anyway. I don't know about anyone else. <laughs> I don't ever see, you know, the person I like to watch do art journal pages is really Marta from Marry Me Small Art. I don't really ever see her go through a rubbish, horrible phase to get to her nice pictures or her nice finished pages. And I feel like hers come together pretty well full stop. So, yeah, maybe this is just a me thing. Again, let me know below. What's your, what's your experience? What's your kind of process? Do you feel that yours go through a definite sort of transition where they are not looking too brilliant and then they kind of turn, you know, turn a corner? Or is that just something that's happening to me? Yeah, be interested to know. So, right, there we go. Oops, just got a bristle, a couple of bristles from my brush. Oh dear. Okay, another one there. Right, oops, another one there. What a rubbish brush. Oh gosh. I mean, it probably doesn't really matter and I'm sure no one's going to be scrutinising it. Like I say, it's my journal, you know, for my own kind of purposes anyway. So it's not like anybody's going to be, you know, buying this or anything. So it doesn't really matter too much. Okay, right. Now, I'd like to do either some stenciling or some stamping, possibly both. So let's just try this off again. Now I have my stencils hung on a like a doorknob that's hung on the side of my shelf unit and this particular one you know this kind of thing is not really kind of big enough to go over the hook so I could do with cutting a bigger bigger hole on it now this one I think is this yeah this is a Prima stencil. It's called Documented. Um, 
I'm only, yeah, I'm not sure that I've used this a great deal. Maybe I've only used it once. Um, I don't even recall using it, to be honest. I can't really remember using it at all. So I do apologise because I actually can't remember what, you know, what my feelings were about it, whether I thought it was good or not. Now, where shall we put this? Do we want to do it in black or in white? Mm, I don't know now. I'm kind of feeling like, does this need a bit of toning down? Are we kind of feeling a bit, whoa, this is a bit bright. So perhaps I'll save the stenciling and do the stenciling in a little bit. So perhaps we'll kind of get some other bits on here first. So yeah, I think perhaps I'll do that. I was going to put the stenciling down, but actually I'm going to, yeah, going to put some little labelly bits down. So these again are from the Stamperology stuff. And I have got the links below to my Stamperology treasure trove. If you wanted to see the bits that I was lucky enough to receive from Staperology. Uh, Taperology, sorry. <laughs> I was getting confused with Stamperia. Taperology. Taperology and Stamperia, two different companies, two different things. Yeah, they just blended in into one word. Right. Yeah, I'm kind of thinking these to knock it back and, you know, make it slightly kind of paler. So let's pop this one down here. Okay. So that one. Okay, dokie. Oops. Yep. And then we'll put this one on. Like that. And then this one I might even put this with a hot glue so I can get that sort of raised thing going on okay right so this one I'm going to put this one on kind of raised so I'm going to apply a lot of hot glue kind of to the back and then not press this down too hard so that hopefully this is going to have a sort of slightly 3D-ish type thing going on there we go Okay, hold on a second, that's my phone. So, so much for doing a complete run of filming. Hold on. Oh, so sorry about that. That was my mum and dad. So, yeah, so much for filming in a, you know, free flow. Free flow, one, one, uh, one hit. Right, now. Kind of, yeah, once have this word. So, word, words up here because I love the script of them so yeah maybe maybe this kind of side to sort of break it up again so like that I mean straight away just for me having that word has way you know pushed it back way into the you know toning down without it not so keen but put that on and straight away it's like oh that looks a lot better I don't know whether you guys think that, but yeah, for me, it feels like, oh, it's it's improving straight away. So yeah, I'm going to put that on now. I mean, to be honest, I'm even kind of thinking maybe I don't even need any stenciling on this one. So yeah, this would be the first time I've done a journal layout without having stenciling, it's got to be said. Um, so I might have a think about it. But yeah, at this point, or at this moment in time, I'm thinking actually don't add any stenciling at the minute. So, or perhaps that's just not the stencil really that I should be using. Right, popping this on here. Yeah, I love how that looks. I mean, to me, that's just <laughs> transformed it already. Oh, I don't know why, but yeah just kind of really has made a big difference hasn't it so yeah really 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 like that um you know just that strip that that word um now I'm just going to see whether I want any other portion of this so um Robin he was angry he hopped on twigs and 
out upon you. Oh, fee, fee upon you. Bold faced jig. I mean, oh, don't understand any of that. But uh, Jenny, she got well, stood upon her feet, and she told Robin plainly she loved him not a bit. <laughs> I mean, yeah, they're not kind of the nicest words, are they? Um, oh, I don't know. Let me just tear this robin out. I mean, I don't know whether I want any other images, to be honest. And again, you know, my pages end up very cluttery. And, you know, I do notice that Marta at Marami Small Art, I mean, her pages are much less cluttery. She seems to be able to do them you know, with much less kind of um, bits and bobs all over them. And that, you know, that just shows her artistic kind of flair, doesn't it? You know, her creativity and brilliance because she doesn't have to smother her page, you know, <laughs> in order for it to look good. Whereas I feel like I have to smother my page in order for it to look vaguely, you know, like a picture or like a, you know worthy of being called an art journal page but yeah she's obviously you know she's much better and she kind of doesn't feel the need to do that so I'm actually thinking less is more on this on this page so yeah that's very unusual for me but yeah maybe a less is more kind of approach um so going to leave that I think like that now just trying to think what else we could have here really um so just having a look at some of my stamps and see whether I've got any stamps that might look oh do you know oddly I'm thinking a couple of black you know just really crisp nice black kind of pieces I think would actually look really good so I'm wondering if I could stamp those onto these so let me just see. I don't know. Well, actually, I'm going to stamp them on, but I may cut them out. Um, yeah, I'm thinking stamp them onto there, but possibly, you know, cut them out. And the reason stamping them onto there is because that's really nice, thick, sort of stiffish card. Um, and just, you know, that just happens to be the card that I've got, if you see what I mean. So, yeah, let's just have a quick look for a stamp block. Oh, okay, right. Okay, please excuse the state of my stamp blocks. I'm gonna say this all the time, but yeah, I'm just very rubbish at looking after them. So, right, going to pop that there. Oops, pop that there. Okay, right. Yeah, I'm thinking stamp this onto that thick card because then we can really get a very crisp, uh, not crisp, but a very 3D-ish type thing going on. Oh gosh, not stamped that very well, did I? Let me turn it over and do it again. Hold on. It's because there's bits all over my uh, craft mat. So yeah, my craft mat's all lumpy from all the glue. Let me do another one. Okay. Okay. Oh, that's better. That's better. Right. Now, should we do a couple more? So, these are a gorgeous stamp set that I've got these in my shop on my website. And, um, or definitely I did have. And I know I say this all the time. I can't guarantee they're in there now. Um, you know, they were at the time of doing this video um, and obviously depending on, you know, if they were well received, I may pop some more in there, um, you know, if I can get hold of some more. So, yeah, but at this point in time, they had definitely been in there. So, right. Oh my goodness, this is such a lovely stamp set. And for this journal layout, I just feel like this is very you know what's needed right thinking stamp some lines now the problem is i've now stuck that down so i don't think i'm going to get that on there very well let me stamp these lines onto here and i might have to you know put a second one over the top so let 
Oh dear. Not making a very good job of those either, because they're now very wonky. Okay. Yeah, made a made a rubbish job of stamping those lines, didn't I? Very, very skew if. Um shall we have this one with the butterfly? I've only used these stamps a couple of times, but yeah, I really do love this little set. So it's got this gorgeous postcard, and then obviously it's got, you know, a selection of kind of stamps, which are just lovely, aren't they? So I might do another one of those with the butterfly. And then might do one of these little squares you know which is like a blank stamp if you see what i mean it's a stamp blank um yeah i might do a couple of the stamp blanks actually again not too sure where i will put them but let's let's just have a couple of those so yeah okay so i wonder if i can get two on that piece of card i don't think i can would you believe no Oh, I might be able to. Yeah. Okay, right. So, you know, not made a brilliant job of stamping. But, you know, again, it doesn't really matter. It's all going to be very forgiving once we've kind of done the done the layout. Well, hopefully it will be. And like I say, I mean, you know, it's, it's just for me anyway. I'm not selling it or anything, so it's all fine. Right, let's quickly cut some of these bits out. So... I'm not going to worry about using my, um, you know, hair, cut, hair thinning scissors. I'm just going to cut these out with my straight edge scissors. Okay. So, yeah. Loving how that looks. Right, let's take this one down. So this has got a bit of a sort of, um, what do you call it, like jaggedy edge. So the hair thinning scissors would have been brilliant here, but... You know, I'm just taking it down like a little square, so it's fine. I, th I think that works fine too. So right, let's just do that. Oh, come on. Like that. And then this one. Okay. Maybe have that kind of there. Now, do we like those lines? Because obviously I did muck them up and, you know, they're pretty wonky. But, you know, I don't mind that, to be honest. I think it's okay. Um, and then these are just kind of plain squares. Well, they're rectangles, but yeah. So I'm just going to cut these out. They might be weird, you know, maybe have no, no place here. But they might look okay, so... Maybe just have a couple of these, like, just staggered around. Okay. Like that. Do we want them staggered around like that? Or maybe like that. So, yeah, I mean, I think that looks quite nice. Let me just cut out this last butterfly one. Just see whether we want this anywhere. Okay. I mean, obviously that would mean we have got two of the butterflies, but I mean, I don't mind that. So yeah, should we have that one in there, in with our little bird who's, you know, poorly in bed? Yeah, I think so. Right, okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to glue this down again using the hot glue. So a lot of hot glue on there, particularly on this portion here, that will hopefully kind of make that, you know, 3D-ish again in comparison to this one, if you see what I mean. So, yeah, I mean, actually, it's not really kind of reaching even down. So, like that. Okay. Oops like that okay might even have to just put a little bit more on just there okay right press that down come on 
Okay, that's better. Other than the fact I've now got hot glue here, but that's fine. Right, there we go. So, yeah, I'm going to just put these on. Now I'm going to put them all on again with that hot glue so as they're kind of raised, you know, adding a bit of interest with the sort of multi-textures. So that one, like that. Okay, and then this one here. Like that. Okay. And then the butterfly here. Yeah, these are really lovely stamps, I must say. Very, very cute stamp set. Right, I haven't quite decided about this one. So, um, unless I have that there and then this here. Or maybe that one there. Maybe here. Yeah, maybe there. So, okay, let's just pop this one down. Okie dokie, under there. And then this one, just going to have on that side. Okay. Yeah. So again, not really press this down too hard. So we've got lots of 3D-ish stuff going on, you know, just here in this section. So, which I think is quite fun and quite nice, really. So, yeah, liking how that's kind of all come come together. Right, okay, so I'm going to break there because I'm going to go and meet my mum and dad for a coffee now. Um, and then I will come back and we will finish this off later. And to be honest, sometimes that's quite nice when you're doing, you know, an art journal layout because you see it with a fresh pair of eyes and possibly then go in a completely different direction. So maybe that's a healthy thing to do. So I will see you guys very shortly. Right, I am back. So it's actually much later. I've been to get my daughter from school and all sorts. But um, yep, I've dug out a handful of things that I just thought, well, colour-wise, perhaps these would kind of look okay on here. So I've just got this daffodil flower. Um, you know, I mean, I don't know whether we even need these things, but I'm just going to kind of put them here potentially. Um, I've got this, which is like a little frame. And I just thought, you know, maybe, maybe it would kind of break it up a little bit. Again, you know, don't know really whether I need any of these things. Kind of thinking maybe snip this in half. I do love a half frame, as you know. If you watch my channel, you'll know I, I love nothing better than a sort of half frame. Um, so, yeah, I quite like that there, I think. And then I've got one of my street names. So I'm thinking kind of maybe a street name. I mean, the only thing is that's a proper diagonal line, isn't it? Which, that's just very weird. Um, that being said, I I very, very strangely didn't mind it. I mean, yeah, normally I would kind of shy away from that, you know, that sort of appearance. But I don't mind it there. Um, I also got one of my numbers, which I just wondered, because colour-wise it's, you know, it's pretty good, isn't it? So I just wondered whether we wanted to have a number anywhere. Could even have it kind of poking out behind the frame. Uh, oh, I don't know. Um, I mean, I think the yellow is kind of quite nice on here, but yeah, what do we think? And I also just got a couple of butterflies. So I've got this one, which, you know, I picked because it's got some black on it. And this was actually from some stickers. So I just thought, well, actually, maybe this would be kind of quite a nice one to use. So, yeah, it just, you know, gets it out of my, my sticker collection as well. So, yep, I've also got a black number just for more of the kind of black stuff, you know, the black theme. Um, I don't know. Perhaps I'm better off without the yellow. What do we think? I don't know whether the yellow actually kind of detracts from what was quite a green, you know, page. Um, well, weirdly enough, I actually quite like it, I think, like that. So, yeah, I'm going to do that. Um, 
Now to me, this looks like it needs some brightening up. I oh, know, what was I saying about kind of trying not to, um, <laughs> try not to go too oh, airy with my colours. But yeah, I feel like it does need a bit of brightening up. So I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to put this down here because I think that looks quite nice there. So, oops, just using my Anita's Tacky Glue. So, you know, the wet glue to put that down. Okay, pop that down there. I quite like it, you know, where you've got the break in the binding. I quite like putting things just in that break. I think it's a sort of natural point to be able to put some things down. Um, now, this yellow flower, I think, here. So, oops, my hot glue gun's only been on for a couple of minutes, so it's actually not really kind of hot enough yet. So, I'm just going to use my wet glue for this, just because the hot glue's not ready. So, yep, we just pop that one down there, like that. Okie dokie. And then the, ooh, street name. Oh, I don't know what's happened there. Oh, I must have dripped some hot glue across. Right, so then we're going to have the street name here. Just there like that. Yeah, I mean, oddly, you know, I normally would not like that diagonal look, but strangely, I think it looks okay on this. Um, don't ask me why, but yeah, something kind of looks okay about it. Uh, so we're just down to this green flower, uh, flower? Butterfly, which, uh, oops, we could have here, I don't know, there maybe. I think we need to emphasise this frame. Um, Oh, I can't decide where this butterfly needs to go. Maybe up there. I don't know. Mm. It's tough sometimes to decide. The problem is with that, it's directly in line with that, which I feel like it's a bit weird. Maybe up there. Okay, right. So my hot glue is, you know, just coming to life now, so we shall use that. Okay. Right, now, finally, I've just got this, which this was some stickers that I've had for a long time. Um, and I just thought, well, maybe, maybe we could use this. It's got those sticky pads, which... Uh, you know, just because actually it gets it off of the desk and I just thought, well, you know, perhaps just getting this off the desk would be quite good. Uh, yeah, maybe there. So again, just going to hot glue this here like that. I don't think the hot glue that I've put in the middle is even going to kind of touch the page, if you see what I mean. But it's just reinforcing it so that it doesn't press in and dig in too, you know, too much. So yeah, like that, I think. Now... Do we want to have the number anywhere? Uh, I don't think so. So yeah, let's do that. Right, so the next thing that we want to do is kind of hopefully brighten it up a little bit. Because like I say, I feel like it's a little bit on the drab side. So we're going to get some paint back out. So, oh gosh, I hope I don't ruin this completely now. I always feel really nervous when I get to, to this stage. Oops, don't know why I keep on undoing that because actually wasn't coming out was it oh look that's why that's why yep oh I think it's still got something on there oh yeah that'll be why it wasn't coming out of the pourer you know the little hole so there we go we've fathomed that out now oh actually I'm just going to just check because I just spotted these labels just beside me so I'm just going to check whether we want one of these anywhere Let's just take this one, which is quite big. I know I said it needs brightening up, and this is obviously black, but I think brightening up is in terms of either brightening up, you know, in terms of lighter, or brightening up in terms of contrast. So clearly, obviously, a black piece is in terms of contrast. 
you know, I think actually either is going to brighten it, if you see what I mean. And I know that's just such a strange kind of, um, almost like a contradiction, isn't it? To say, oh, it needs brightening up, therefore I'm going to put a load of black stuff down. But I actually think that sometimes, you know, the drama and the contrast is enough of a sort of brightening effect. I mean, yeah, I feel weird even saying it, to be honest, because it just seems like such a um, contradiction. But hopefully you can kind of see that straight away has lifted it somehow, hasn't it? I think the contrast has kind of like just brought the, you know, the starkness out somewhat, you know, somewhat. So there we go. So that one. And then this one here. Okay. Like that. Okie dokie. So now I've put those down, I'm like, ooh, do I want to put white on? Or should we go for black? I know, it just, the irony. Oh, in one breath I'm saying, oh, let's brighten this up. And then in the next breath I'm saying, oh, should we cover this with black? What do we think? I'm just going to hold the white there. I mean, I feel like actually the white is not going to really kind of do what I'm hoping on this page. I feel like the white's going to actually, you know, not bring it down, but certainly not add anything. So let me just quickly nip and get some black. Hold on. Right. So I've got some black paint here. I oh, just <laughs> hope I'm not making a mistake with this, but hey, we'll soon find out. So, right. I'm going to put my book page, you know, just some old book page behind this. Oops, like I say, I mean, there aren't decorated pages underneath or anything, but just to, you know, protect the underneath a little bit. Now, as you can see, there is a gap here in between the, um, you know, the edge and the sheet music. Oh, gosh, now this has seen better days. I've not used this black paint for a long time, so it sounds very liquidy which is weird because actually normally it just goes really hard. So it, it's unexpected. <laughs> it's not how I thought. Well, unless it wasn't liquid, unless it was just hard lump shaking around in there. Well, we'll soon find out, won't we? Let's just put some down on the desk. Oh, there we go. Right. Oh, my goodness. Already I'm feeling super, super nervous. <laughs> don't know what I'm thinking. Right, now. Do I want to go in with my finger? <laughs> I'm just going to try something just before I kind of like gung ho go in here. Just going to take this and just see what it would be like if I just put some lines down. Because hmm. I'm thinking perhaps we could just have some lines going in. So I'm just going to do that here. Like that. Okay. Right. So, yep, we've got some lines going on. I'm not sure what I think to those, to be perfectly honest. Right. Let me see what this would look like if I did like a smearing. I mean, it's pretty solid, isn't it? So yeah, there's not going to be a lot coming back from this, but let's go in and try. So just going to do a bit of a smearing kind of effect here. Okay. Oh, I've now smudged this. What a wally. Oh, that's so annoying. And like we just said, I mean, there's no coming back really from black. I mean, yeah. It's, it's not a very forgiving colour, is it? If you muck it up with the black, it's kind of mucked up. Oh, well. Right. Like that. Okay. I'm just going to go in here as well. Okay. Right. What do we think to this? I'm just going to turn it around and we will see. Oh my goodness. Oops, oops, I'm just smearing all sorts in it. Oh my goodness, I love how that looks. So from that perspective, I'm going to go in here and try and sort out what I've done here with those lines because they don't look good, do they? Okay, right, just going to go over the little flower there a little bit. Oh 
my goodness, I love how that black looks so much. That is gorgeous. Right, just going to go in here. Might have to get a fresh, fresh piece of card. I know this is very extravagant, but that was obviously the one that I had mucked up earlier anyway. Oh, and now I'm just going to have to use another one just because I'm quite, ooh, quite liking the effect. Let me just get another book page. Put that just under here. Right, okay, so I'm going to go in here. Okay. Like that. Okie dokie, right. Now, what do we want to do with the frame is the question, because the frame now is still pale. Do we want to go around the frame now with black or do we want to go around the frame with white? The white or the black? I'm now thinking weirdly the black. Now, I will probably muck this up, but I'm going to give it a try. So let's go over it with some, some of the black. Okay. Like that. Okie dokie. Right. Just get lots of black on that frame. Honestly, the irony is, you know, this was the same frame that obviously earlier I was trying to get it to go white. Now I'm putting black all over it, so. Yeah. Okay. Oh, I just love that black so much. I mean, I don't know about you guys, but I was not liking this page at all. And just that black has kind of like transformed the page for me. I don't know whether it has for you guys or whether perhaps you, <laughs> perhaps you are still thinking, oh my goodness, that page looks horrible. But yeah, for me, it's kind of brought that page completely to a different kind of look. And, you know, I wasn't enjoying it at all. And now... I actually really like it so yeah oh I'm so sorry that's the door now sweetie would you be kind enough to get the door please yeah. thank you darling right there we go so we're just going to finish these bits off here okay right just got one or two more bits okay I'm now actually thinking do you know what that black, to get it looking really glossy, could even glossy accent it or varnish it in some way. I don't know whether I could do that, but... Right, what do we think? Love, love, love how that looks now. Yeah, gone from being kind of disastrous, you know, was not liking it at all, to that black has kind of transformed it for me. So I'm going to quickly now just do some splatters I think and maybe some shading so let me just get my black watercolour pencil oh my goodness what have I done with that now I try and always keep my watercolour pencil handy and it's the only you know the only watercolour pencil that I really use on a regular basis oh and now of course I can't now see it hang on oh what have I done with it what have I, I have here we go I knew it was in there somewhere, I just couldn't see it. It's because obviously I've used it a lot and so it's actually getting quite short now. Um, right, so I'm just going to quickly go in and do a little bit of shading. So just a bit here, like that. And maybe just a little bit here, like that. Okie dokie. A little bit here. little bit here okay yep and I think that's probably as much as I want for the shading um yeah I think that's probably as much as I want now just going to put some water down and then try and just go in with a brush and just kind of brush that out so as I said I've got my new brushes 
Oh my goodness, I'm now thinking they're too thick. Oh dear, I've never got quite the right stuff, have I? So, yeah, even with my new, new brushes, still not the right stuff. Right, let's put this down. Okay, right, let me just bring in my book page. Whoops, so I can just dab that off again. So we're going to just start up here. Okie dokie. Okay, and then just down here, I think that's all the shading I'd actually put, isn't it? I don't think I've done any other. So, yeah, okay, just, just kind of like shade that in a little bit, okay? Okay, right, now I'm going to do some splatters. <laughs> Oh, ruined that completely. Wish I had not done that. I don't know whether I can mop that out or whether it's kind of too late now, but let me just see whether I can mop that out. No, not really wanting to come off there. So just going to quickly, yeah, try and cover that up with something else. So, and then we're just going to add a few splatters. I'm thinking green. What do you guys think? I mean, so much for neutral, like, oh my goodness, have you seen a more colourful page? So much for neutral, so much for brightening it up with the, oh, let's add some bright, <laughs> or some light, light even. What have, I, what have I added? I've added black. But I do think it has brightened it up in the strangest way. Um, yeah, so I've got this green pati patina, which I think would look really good on here, and I think would definitely lift it. So let's just quickly pop that back. Now I'm wondering if I could just have a ticket or something here. Just want to cover up basically where I've got that black there that I'm not happy with. So yeah, I think just cut this down and maybe just, you know, just put that on there or something. You know, it's just a bit of improvisation because I've kind of messed that up. So just a quick fix really. I don't know whether this is going to really cover it sufficiently, but if it doesn't, I can always put something else over it. So, yeah, I mean, that looks okay, doesn't it? So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to cover my picture a little bit because I don't want to get my splatters over the picture. So just cover that. I'm actually, I'm just, yeah, I might cover the whole thing, actually, like that. Okay, so my patina... This beautiful, oh no, I was going to say beautiful colour green, but actually didn't shake it, so now it's a bit weird. Anyway, right, pour some more. Oh my goodness, that's gorgeous, isn't it? Right, okay, so I love using patina for splatters. I think it works really well. However, I did also buy some of the ink, um, uh, yeah, what's the brand? Oh, begins with a W. Anyway, the ink that Martina, Marta, Marta uses. Um, but yeah, failing that, I find the patina pretty good, although it's not now splatting. Do I normally do it over the... There we go. Honestly, I still haven't mastered the whole splatting. I mean, when am I going to get that? Maybe never. There we go. I mean, there's probably more splatters on here than I think, and they won't perhaps come apparent until I move the piece of paper that's covering the frame. Okay, right, let's move the piece of paper and see what we think. Ta-da! Oh, really nice. Yeah, I really like it. I mean, it's a very, very, very different looking page. Um, you know, perhaps to anything I've done before definitely took on a life of its own not at all how I planned it um you know but that's you know that's how it should be isn't it just fun and you know just kind of being drawn to what you're drawn to in the moment rather than a fixed plan that then you know you kind of have to stick to so yeah I'm really pleased with it and um yeah let me know what you think um below you know do you think that I've kind of ruined it with the black do you think the black did enhance it 
and subsequently actually brighten it. Are you thinking, my goodness, she was talking rubbish. <laughs> it would have been better with the white. Let me know below what you think. So I'm just going to give you a close up look. Like that, okay. Okie dokie. So I hope you like it. And yeah, hopefully you feel inspired. I hope you have fun if you do an art journal layout and yeah, that you've been inspired, you know, by this one. And yeah, just get your journal out, your art journal and have fun and just go with the flow. So um, yeah, thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks then. Bye.